welcome to the Mardi Gras Casino, Hallandale Beach, Florida. Uh, my name is Troy Bongi, executive chef of the French Quarter Restaurant. We have uh, a menu that has 40 plus items from appetizers to soups and entrees. We're gonna make boneless braised short ribs today. First off, let's talk about the cut of meat that we use at the French Quarter Restaurant. This is a chuck flap cut of meat. It's what we use for our braised short ribs. Now, when you think short ribs, you think bone. They have the bone on the side. A couple things with that. We don't use the bone cut short rib here. Um, basically, what this does, it allows more flavor with the cut of meat that we use as opposed to the bone short ribs. Also, when you cook this, if you're gonna cook these at home, you wanna be careful because they're gonna, there's gonna be a difference between the short rib that does not have a bone and the short rib with bone. Now, the bone short ribs, the bone will act as a conductor and the short ribs will cook quicker. So you're gonna wanna be careful if you use bone short ribs at home. It's gonna alter from the cooking times and the process that I'm gonna talk about today. So the first thing we do is we take our chuck flap cut of meat and we season it. Coarse ground black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, salt. We sear them in olive oil till we get a nice brown on all four sides of the chuck flap. And then we remove them from the pan or pot, whichever you're using. Then we're gonna keep all the drizzle and all the oil in that pan, and that's what we're actually gonna use to saute off our mirepoix. Now our mirepoix is made up of onions, celery, carrots. We're gonna throw in garlic, and we're gonna saute that off. If they brown, they get a little dark, that's all right, because in turn, what you want is with this sauce, you want a darker brown, not really black, but a dark color for the presentation of this dish. Now, as soon as these vegetables get a little brown on them, next you're gonna throw in tomato paste, and what that's called is pincé. You're actually gonna pincé the tomato paste into the mirepoix while you're cooking it. Continue to cook it for another couple minutes, and then you're gonna do a process we call in the kitchen deglazing. You're gonna add house or cooking red wine and you're gonna deglaze the vegetables and the tomato paste with that wine. Stir uh, with a wooden spoon at best all the vegetables and all the tomatoes so that they are not sticking to the bottom of your pan and burning. After that we're gonna add in chicken stock. Here at the French Quarter restaurant we call it chicken stock, you may call it chicken broth. Uh, grocery store brand, Swanson. Uh, there's other products out there. You're gonna add that to all of your meat and your vegetables, and you're gonna lower your heat and bring it to a simmer. Now, cooking times, they're gonna alter, all right? How much you're cooking, uh, how big your pot is. Here, we cook them in our kettle, and it usually takes about one and a half to two hours for our short rib to be nice and tender. Now, you want them tender, you don't want any tough short rib, because in order to recook them, you basically have to do the process all over again with the simmering and all the vegetables and all the pincé so that you have all the flavors. Now, when you have a nice simmer, you're gonna let it go. If you wanna cover it, you can, so it doesn't splatter all over the kitchen. Before you cover it, you add your herbs bay leaf, fresh thyme, and fresh rosemary. You stir those in with your wooden spoon, and then you can make the decision to cover it or not. At home, you're probably looking at about two, maybe three hours for tenderness on your short rib. All right, this is our boneless braised short rib of beef. This is a seared product. I'm gonna take you through step by step. First thing we're gonna do is this is oven ready. We're gonna cook off our braised short rib. Now the first step is you're gonna to wanna to make your braising liquid. We have a pot this size, all right? Short rib, when, when, the sh when short ribs are made, 
Usually we do them in a large quantity. We feed the whole family, we feed the neighbors. So this is why we have such a big pot called a rondo. We got uh, about 16 portions in here braising. Right now I'm gonna take you through step by step and do two portions at one time. First you're gonna get your pot or your rondo hot. Add olive oil. Give that a minute. Then you're gonna add your mirepoix, your vegetables, onion, celery, carrots, garlic. You want a little bit of higher heat so you can get a little bit of color on these. You want a nice golden brown color on the vegetables. Don't worry about getting them too dark because the presentation to this dish is a nice dark brown sauce. Keep in mind, I'm setting this up for two portions. When you do the family dinner, then you're gonna use uh, more onions, more garlic, more celery, more carrots. And you're gonna cook larger portion. You wanna get a nice golden brown. You're looking at a good five or 10 minutes till the aroma from the onions and the garlic are present and you start getting uh, brown vegetables. Now we have some nice color on our vegetables. We got some golden brown. Next step is to pince tomato paste into the pot. After the tomato paste is in, then you're gonna deglaze with your house red wine or cooking red wine. You're gonna let the wine reduce by half, take three or four minutes. Keep in mind that you're actually doing a larger portion for the family. So you're gonna use more wine, you're gonna use more tomato paste. Fresh bay leaf, fresh rosemary, and thyme. Now you're ready to add your meat. You have your seasoned and seared short rib that you pulled out of the pot earlier. You're gonna add those in. This portion is for two. You're gonna cover it with the vegetables, the tomato pince, herbs, any wine that's left. At this point, this is when you add your chicken stock or chicken broth, and you're gonna cover. And it's gonna go into the oven, hour and a half to two hours. 250 to 275 degrees. Now, after an hour and a half, you're gonna check your short ribs. All right. This is the large batch that we prepared ahead of time. To show you, you have your sauce. You can see that the sauce got a little thicker. You can see the vegetable in there, nice and soft, falling apart. The short ribs right now are still a little tough. So what you would do is put the cover back on and back into the oven for about another half hour. What you're shooting for is a nice tender short rib. Now what we're doing with this short rib is a process called braising. In order to get a very tough piece of meat, such as short rib or chuck flap, or even chunks of lamb where you would make lamb stew, you have to braise. Braise is cooking or simmering over a long period of time to get tenderness. Now some of these pieces are tough, so it would go back in the oven and it would continue to braise for about another half hour. Right here is a finished product. This is our braised short rib with a little bit of sauce. This is plate ready to be put on with uh, your choice of starch, mashed potatoes, and your choice of vegetables. Now, we have here in this pot our braising or simmering pieces of short rib, almost tender. Now when these become tender, you want to pull them out of the sauce and you want to put them in a pan as flat as possible or a casserole dish as flat as possible. If you have the refrigerator space, you can put them into the refrigerator overnight. If you don't, then what you can do is you can leave them sit out for a couple hours, 
let the hotness come off of them, and then you can stack them or put them in a, a pan that uh, you don't have as much room to lay them out flat. You wanna let them cool overnight. If you're doing this in the morning, give them at least six hours to cool before you cut them. As you can see, the portions, the pieces of meat that we're working with are on the larger side. So these can be cut into two pieces, possibly some of them into three pieces. As you can see, this one's starting to pull apart. It's actually starting to shred, so that's what you're looking for. That's gonna indicate the tenderness of your short rib. Now to portion them, you wanna cut them when they're cool. If you cut them right out of your braising pan, when the steam is coming off of them and they're still hot, they're gonna shred and you're gonna lose all the meat in this nice uniform square or rectangle shape that you're trying to achieve. Now with this one, what we did was we took our large pieces, we cooled them overnight, we brought them out the next morning, we cut them, portion them, and then at the French Quarter restaurant, what we do is we take the portion pieces, we put a little bit of sauce or ladle a little bit of sauce over top of them, and then we use these sizzle platters and we finish them off in the oven and get them hot. It'll take 10 minutes. So when our tickets come in, they go onto the sizzle platters into the oven. 10 minutes later, they're ready to plate up with your starch and your vegetable. This is our boneless braised short rib, a beef dish here at the French Quarter restaurant. We got our short rib portion, six ounce portion, a little bit of sauce ladled over top. Our starch of choice is uh, mashed potatoes. Personally, I like to use mashed potatoes with this dish with the short rib because you get a little bit of gravy with the short rib, so you can just pour some right over your mashed potatoes. And we have baby carrots with tops. Again, the choice is yours. You wanna use asparagus, green beans, broccoli. It's your house, you decide which starch and veg. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put mashed potatoes down on the plate, a kitchen spoon or scoop, whatever you have around the house, nothing special. All right, no crazy design or anything like that. Next is our short rib plating. Presentation purposes, we lean the short rib right up against the potato and get it to stand up. Next thing is the carrots, wherever you like. I'm gonna give the plate some, some height and stand them up using the mashed potato as a base. And then for the sauce, what this is, is a very simple brown sauce or gravy. It's the actual braising liquid when we braised our short ribs and just a little flambe of some bourbon. Nice consistency right over top of the short rib, right over top of the mashed potatoes, and a little in front. And you can even serve the gravy on the side, on the table. And this is our braised short rib of beef at the French Quarter restaurant. We'd love to have you come visit us at the French Quarter restaurant and the Mardi Gras Casino in Hallandale Beach, Florida, where it's always a party at the Mardi Gras Casino.